Okay guys, I'm back in Genshin Impact. This time I'm going to play the Golden Apple uh, Archipelago thing. Eh? <laughs> this will be actually my first time doing this uh, Golden Apple thing. I never did the one point whatever version last time. So it's my first time actually. But I've already went with uh, Risa uh, yesterday just to see how those, that place would be like. But now I'm actually going to do the story. Eh? Ah, traveler. It so happens that a friend of yours asked me to pass on a message when I saw you. Someone left a message for us? Huh, who can it be? My beloved retainer, have you noticed that silver thread of which fate is woven, now twisting and twining itself around you? The Aldeva Ertalung does... Mm, does... <laughs> Rosen Kaleido Phantasmus will be watching you. You still love of course. <sighs> <laughs> you still of course. Well... Hmm. Apologies. This message is unusually difficult to recite. Would you like to hear more? Uh... Definitely yeah. sounds like Fischl's note. What should we do? <laughs> I'm good, thanks. I'd like to hear more. And what happens? W will she read some more? We'll be watching you as you step into the glorious castle of the Immer Nockreich. Immer Nockreich. Come to me at once. Swear an oath to me in my blessed name. And we shall journey together to the depths of the world. Anyway, to summarize, Miss Fischl asked me to ask you to go to the plaza in front of the you. cathedral. Please meet her there when you have the time. She said that she will be waiting for you. Okay. Oh, Fischl. <laughs> such a mystifying message for such a plain and simple request. Well, if Fischl's expecting us, then let's not keep her waiting. Let's head towards the Cathedral Plaza. Alright. Meet Fischl at the plaza. Oh, we can just teleport there. Oh, I see Fischl and the bird Oz and Mona. There she is! And Mona too! <laughs> Princess in the uh, whatever have <laughs> descended upon this run from mine immer not whatever <laughs> as decreed by destined doom. Each and every day mine familiar us and I observe every weapon with a faith. Uh huh. Fisher dictionary is there for you to fit completely. Okay. Miss Fisher is a most trustworthy investigator. Okay. Which one is it? Retainer or attendant? Make up your mind. My apologies. Main Fräulein tends to use exaggerated expressions when she's in good spirits. Hey, Fischl! You were looking for us, right? Sounds like the fun started without us. What's got you in such a good mood? Nice to see you all again. It's been a while. Well, <laughs> Fischl is your first time. Because I haven't done uh, Fischl's hangout event yet. <laughs> and so the whisper of eternal night summons you back to my side. <laughs> Splendid. What a blessed reunion. A boon from beyond the eventide. Come, partake of this joy with me, my subjects. Traveler, Paimon, it's a pleasure to see you again. Main Fräulein and I extend to you our most sincere greetings. Paimon wants to say a proper hello to you. <laughs> a normal person in the situation would simply say, Hi, traveler, how have you been? <laughs> <laughs> the traveler and I are like intertwined stars in the vast.
vast galaxy. You of all people should very well know the fate foretold by this meeting. Precisely. Lady Magistus, please refrain from such unimaginative utterances. Lady M Lady Magistus. Mag oh, what now? <laughs> Lady Magistus has long since become a citizen of the Imanakreish. She has been serving Imanakreish. as court archmage under one's okay. command for some time now. <laughs> That's just my surname. Don't mind that. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> You're here because Fischl asked Catherine to ask you to come, right? Indeed so, my Archmage. Did even this appear in thy divination? Why, your powers are truly dangerous. Oh, for the love of... No, of course not. You told me yourself that you'd left a message with Catherine. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> anyway, in my case, she practically beat the door down to get me to come along. Whatever she says, please, don't be too astonished. Ah, uh, don't worry. We've been around the block. You can't phase us. Oh, faithful servants. One's homeland, the Imanach Reich, which bears the darkest of all fates, draws near to this world once more. Stand with me in anticipation, for the glory of our kingdom is nigh. Uh... <laughs> we what? Indeed. Only one's most faithful envoys are fortunate enough to be privy to this great revelation. <clears throat> the Imanach Reich is near Mondstadt. I'll report this to the Knights of Rodas immediately. What? No, please. <laughs> that will be most unnecessary. I know it sounds absurd, but there's actually something behind this, I promise. Basically, what Fischl means is... Oh, Lady Magistus! Uh, all right, all right. Honestly, look at me. A genius astrologist forced into a juvenile role-playing game. <laughs> That's where the line comes from. The truth is <laughs> that yesterday, Her Highness encountered the Spark Knight Klee outside of the city. Both being of great fame, they recognized one another instantly and began to converse. It was already getting dark, so in that spirit of great compassion and care for which she is known, Her Highness personally accompanied Klee back to Mondstadt. On the way, Her Highness relayed to Klee the story of her origins. Upon hearing the tragic tale of the fall of Her Highness's homeworld, the tender-hearted Spark Knight inquired, with tears welling up in her eyes. Oh no! Is the Imanach Reich really gone? Won't it grow back? Oh mortal! Your Sovereign's heart is touched by thy sincerity and sympathy. But nay, the Imanach Reich is an everlasting realm, and one day, it shall make its reappearance. Really? So how do we make your homeland grow back again? Oh, please tell please. me. Please. Really? Please. <laughs> Since you inquire so earnestly, <clears throat> give unto me a tranquil haven. Promise me eternal admiration. Lend me both time and wind, and one shall revive one's homeworld. Could you cut the reenactment <laughs> and just get to the point? In short, Klee gave Fischl an island to serve as the promised land where the Imernal crash will appear. I didn't Ooh. believe it either at first, but then I saw this letter. Uh-huh. I'm a witch who travels amidst the mountains and rivers of Tevet. I write to you having heard from my young daughter that your kingdom has fallen and that you're searching for a way to restore it. Among the seas under a far-flung sky may the golden apple archipelago be found. If this masterless land can assist in the restoration of your highness realm, that would be most wonderful. Oh! This is Alice. Kree's mom, right? So using the Golden Apple Islands, I guess. Providence has gifted Main Fräulein with an excellent opportunity. Esteemed traveler, as Main Fräulein's cherished retainer, you deserve to bear witness to this grand moment with us. This island looks kind of familiar. Um... Well, I never went to the island before. <laughs> Traveler, curtail thy umming and awing at once. The throne of the Imanach Reich calls for me. Come, be my blade. Clear the way and witness what is to come. I, I think she just wants to invite you along to the island with her. 
That being said, I have a feeling that I'll be better off not performing any divination where that island's concerned. Huh? Why not? <laughs> Klee is involved in this, which means her mother is probably involved, which oh, means right. that old hag is involved. <laughs> <sighs> thanks, but no thanks. Okay, well, uh, makes sense. Well, you, nine, who have traveled to the farthest reaches of the nine. world, fathom the celestial path of stardust in the palm of your hand, and witness raindrops converge and become one with the undercurrent of destiny. You, yes you... Must chart the course that leads the way to the land promised to main Fräulein by fate. Oh, Fischl doesn't know the way there! <laughs> um, since thou asketh it for our help, <laughs> Paimon can tell us, you, that we are good friends with the Spark Knight Klee, the Guides of Destiny. Really fun. Come on, just play along. Okay, okay. Very well, I'm the one whom's half hath traveled you. <laughs> really? Alright. Behold, the Watcher, the Guide, the Weaver of Dreams, the Traveler. <laughs> excellent, most excellent. A crowd of bemused monsters watches this is on and this but it continues for another half hour. To sum up, <laughs> traveler, since you say you know the way, we'll let you take us to the island. I mean, the promised land. <laughs> Good, fine, done. Uh, right so now, know also Lady Magistus needs to go home to pack her things and catch up on some sleep. Your Highness, your uh, other distinguished selves, let's meet at the city gate at nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Very well. Then it is settled. One blesses you with an undisturbed slumber, Lady Magistus. You too, traveler. Main Fräulein means to say good night. See you all tomorrow. About darn time! Good night! <laughs> oh, Paimon's exhausted! Uh, you all have proper rules! How come Paimon has to be a clock on the wall in the royal palace? Cuckoo! It's 12 o'clock sharp in the Immernacht Rite! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> anyway, since those islands are a pretty mind-blowing place, why don't we get some people with mind-boggling ideas to help us out? Kaya's mind works in mysterious ways, but no one in Mondstadt has ideas that boggle the mind quite like... Mm. A certain somebody who's definitely 20. going to be in the tavern at this hour. Come on, let's go rope him into helping us. Summertime Odyssey 1 The Golden Apple Vacation returns Returns but I never even experienced it before <laughs> Oh boy, alright Alright, oh, Adventurer Skill I forgot to... Hold on Before I go there Oh, it's just expedition. All right. Haven't you heard? Is Venti in? There he is. Uh -huh. uh Sinyan and Kazuha. Li Wei and Inazuma character. <laughs> what are they doing in Mondstadt? Yeah, what? Well, look at that. You're really here. Come on, take a seat and join our delightful conversation. Wow, Traveler, Paimon! Speak of the devil. We were literally just talking about you. 
I think Sinyan also. I have we met Sinyan? <laughs> Truly a curious coincidence. Kazuma, Sinyan, what are you doing here in a Mondstadt tavern? And how'd you end up having to share a table with the tone deaf bard? <laughs> Like you're a pretty well known singer, fella. Most sadly, not a rock and roll singer, or we could perform a duet. Ooh. So, you <laughs> all know each other. My newfound friends are my old friends' friends from afar. <laughs> How fantastic. Oh, this is a rare opportunity indeed. Oh, we should form a poetry club and call it uh, uh, the Free Poet Society or something like that. You guys came here from the where? Even Kazuha? Yeah, I felt like getting out and finding some new inspiration for my songwriting. Kazuha felt like going on a trip too, so we figured we'd travel together. Last month, Beto held a big booze-filled party called the Drink Till You Sink Championship. And she put me <laughs> in charge of the music. And that's where I met Kazuha. Although Shinyan can come across as unruly at times, her musical understanding is highly nuanced and original. Safe to say, our shared appreciation for music struck a chord in us both. Oh, you can say that again. In Kazuha's hands, even a leaf becomes an instrument. That makes him an expert among my friends. Starting from Liyue, we passed through Stone Gate and kept going until we came into Mondstadt. Then along the way, we saw this really awesome manor. It was something else. Oh, yeah! We know the one. My friend owns that place. <laughs> really? Y'all sure have a lot of friends. Well, whoever it is that lives in that Wait, fine place must be really loving life, huh? Uh, yes, so. <laughs> Similar souls tend to attract each other. Traveler and Paimon, you must have exceptional taste, just like that friend of yours. Wow, you're too nice. Unlike some people who only ever seem to poke fun at Paimon. Ahem. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, do you know anything about the Iridescence Tour? It's supposed to be huge. Rumor has it that all seven store. nations of Devad are gonna be involved. Well, so far it's mostly just empty promises. Anyway, it's supposed to be a music festival. The organizer really did a number on me last time. They canceled on me. But I hear that they're still active. I'd love to give the festival another shot. But wouldn't you know it? The plans fell through again. How can they mess up this bad twice in a row? Music is all about inspiration. Maybe the organizers canceled the show because theirs dried up. But fear not, weary travelers, for your <laughs> journey was not in vain. It has, after all, brought you here, to me, to the Temple of Music. Your Temple of Music must have more than just good tunes. You're a bard, ain't you? A song's gotta have a good story or it doesn't make the cut, right? <laughs> exactly. Oh, you understand the meaning of being a bard so well. To express my gratitude, I will even share one of these stories with you. Oh, we have another... <laughs> oh, you're a funny fella. Are all bards like you? I've met many bards during my travels, but none of them are as entertaining as you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it all comes down to the richness of my imagination and, by extension, the poverty of theirs. And on that note, here is a fantastical tale that is Ooh. sure to delight you all. Let's see. <clears throat> Legends tell of an emerald isle in the middle of the ocean. There, the Dodo King and his people live a blissful existence. Dodo when King. a Dodoko is born, it dives into the water. Some learn to swim. Others are carried away by the waves, all the way to Mondstadt where they befriend the children there. One Dodoko made a new friend in Mondstadt, the little Spark Knight. But the Dodo King did not approve. He demanded that the little knight come to the island and prove herself to him. So the little knight, together with her most important friend in the world, braved the wind and waves, finally reaching the middle of the ocean. But Dodo King was not there. Dodo King had lied. Is this a golden apple story all over again? There was no trial by fire or interrogation. The little the knight's little mother, clean. who was a mage, had built an entire summer city there as a gift to her daughter, along with this message. 
Summer is the season of love. It is the time for freedom and fun. So everyone, please sing, dance, and enjoy yourselves here. Hmm. <laughs> This is just the idol animation of Venti. But well, well played. <laughs> wow, okay. Let's see, even they clapped it. <laughs> I was just about to ask about the island. And Venti really said about the idol. Interesting. <laughs> I now have the urge to visit that island myself. This is the thing about traveling. You can't plan ahead. Better to leave when the mood takes you and go where the heart leads. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. Well, there's wine on the table and I have stories to tell. Seems like fate is feeling kind today. Here's to music. Come on, traveler. Don't worry. If you don't like wine, there's juice as well. In that case, I'll have a glass of juice. This one. I like the color. Is that even juice? You notice someone is tasty. <laughs> oh no! Kazuha! Uh oh. This fella's drunk. But uh, wasn't he drinking fruit juice? <laughs> that doesn't sound like fruit more. juice. More, 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 more. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I think I accidentally placed some fruity cocktails out there. <laughs> My bad. <sighs> Seriously? Anyway, guess it's time to talk about business after all that drinking. You came here because you need my help, I presume? Oh yeah, that's a good point. We didn't come here to drink. Oh, we still have to <laughs> we still have to walk. And I'm using Klee. Actually Yeah. <laughs> I'm like using whatever. Hmm, look where we are. Yup. I can sense that you're about to tell me something very interesting. Spot not giving an island to Fisher. Klee gave a special gift from her mother to an adventurer friend? <laughs> She's such a kind-hearted child. As I'm sure you've already guessed, that letter is most definitely yeah. written by Alice. Yeah, that's so. Speaking of, guess which two people I ran into on my way to the tavern today? Hmm? You mean just now? Hmm. Master Jean? Or Lisa? A mother and daughter, both with long elf ears and the most amazingly adorable personalities. Wait, Alice... And Klee. Huh? Alice and Klee? Ding ding ding! Correct answer! So Alice is there? The unaging mage was taking her teeny tiny knight on a vacation, and I happened to run into them. As a friendly greeting, the mysterious woman gave me a gift. She also said that if I meet any fun friends, I should share this gift with them. So now it's yours to keep. What is that? <laughs> Minus the fuse. So Minus the fuse. Worry, it's not going to explode. God damn it. Come on, take it. This way we can talk to each other just like this, even when we're apart. Okay. It's called a dodo communication device, dodo communication. and it allows people to stay in touch over vast distances. Ooh. However, you can't just use it anytime you want, and there's also a limit on the number of times you can use it. That's why it's currently only available to a certain select few. I heard that the inspiration for this comes from another world. <laughs> Alice is always full of surprises. From another world? She and Klee wow. asked me to tell you. <clears throat> Please take this with you when you depart for the island. No, wait. The promised land with your friends. And have fun. Don't worry about how to get there. The organizers of this vacation have made arrangements. Turn right after you exit the city gates and you'll see something that will make you very happy. Turn right after you exit the city gates. <laughs> Two of you are in cahoots over this. <laughs> of course not. Is that really the sort of person you think I am? Traveler, you're my friend. 
Kanaz, your friend. I just want to give you something that'll make you happy. How can you think this of me? All right. <sighs> So that's how they join us. <laughs> okay, we're going back down. That was quick. Oh, you're back. Poor Kazuha is still out for the count. Seems like he can't handle alcohol so well. Xinyan, do you want to come to the islands with us? Adventure. <laughs> can't. Huh? He doesn't want to go anymore. He seemed really interested just a moment ago. Can't miss. Oh, can't miss the adventure. The adventure. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Kazaha might act mature, but deep down he's just another youngster eager for new experiences. That must be why he didn't think anything of the fruit juice earlier. Well, all the more reason for you to join the island trip. You know, a lot of people have praised the beautiful scenery there. Even Bart's. Okay, sounds like a plan. How do we get there? Someone's got it covered, apparently. There'll be a few others joining us on this trip, and we're meeting at the city gate tomorrow morning. We'll wait for you. That's how we cut. <laughs> Traveler? Oh, yeah. They aren't official yet, do they? Okay, so here's the deal. There's a princess from a faraway land in her retinue who are also coming on this trip. Huh? <laughs> uh, Paimon, don't get me wrong, I'm just asking to make sure, but from the way you're plugging this trip so hard, uh, did the Iridescence Tour folks put you up to this? After all, canceling the Iridescence Tour after people already made the trip, that's kind of the same thing as tricking people into going traveling, ain't it? Ugh, why won't anyone believe Paimon? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about that for now. You'll all have the chance to get acquainted with each other tomorrow morning. Whether you're a princess, a retainer, a talking raven, a samurai, or a musician. <laughs> you're all VIP guests of the island on your summer vacation. And that's what counts, right? <sighs> I'm sure looking forward to it. Yeah, Benty, are you coming? Uh, I'll have to pass. I have some work to take care of. Really? Are you serious? The tone deaf bard actually has plans to do some work? I promised a young lady with cat ears and a cat tail that I'd sing at her tavern to boost Diana. business and beat the competition. Ah, yes. The competition being this place, which has six-fingered Jose. Oh. Aren't you allergic to cats? Yeah. Yup. I can always sing on their roof. <laughs> She told me that as long as their sales surpass their competitor, there's a whole month's worth of wine in it for me. <laughs> oh, what a fine employment opportunity. Virtually tailor-made for me. So have fun. <laughs> and don't worry about me. <laughs> oh, I feel like this summer is going to be a very interesting one. Okay. <laughs> Wait till the next morning, 8 to 10. Uh... Wait, this not the clock. All right. And let me just. Kazuha, Kazuha. Oh, he just won't wake up. <laughs> Looks like we're staying in the tavern tonight. Well, it's early morning. <laughs> and they're gone. Alright, go to the city gate. Well, we can just teleport out. I have all four characters that's going. Kazuha, Simon, Mona, and Fischl. La la la. But I don't build them. <laughs> I don't know. I don't Today is the day of one's reckoning with fate, as foretold by the night sky. 
humiliation suffered in the past, the shame we have carried all these years, one bit you would do, for today it is time for Retribution. Main Fräulein, if I may be so bold, that final phrase did not sound like one of your own. What does it sound like? Did you look? <laughs> Of course it wasn't. I just overheard it from someone in the city. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I mean, thy princessin is merely drawing on the wisest and courageous sayings she has heard in the land to signify the importance of this day. Hmm, let me see. Huh, it really is someone else's catchphrase. Yeah, it's in it did look sketchphrase. Oh boy, everyone's here. Hi. Who have you brought with you? Oh, ahem. Allow Paimon to introduce to you a fabled wandering swordsman of Inazuma and an enchanting musical talent of Liyue. Hey, I'm Shinyan from Liyue. I like rock and roll, sunny days, and good times. Yeah. You must be the princess Paimon told us about. You sure do look the part. I, I hear you're from a faraway land. It's an honor to be in the company of dignitaries. <laughs> and this lady over here, my family tells me that only the wisest scholars wear pointed hats like this one. Uh, guess that applies to you too? Oh, I like her. She can stay. <laughs> Shen Yan, your gaze pierces the dark veil of night to arrive at the truth beyond. I am in need of one such as yourself. Very well. You shall be one's musician laureate. Uh, <laughs> do you understand it? She's trying to say thanks. You say all the right things. Um, and the same goes for me too. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Mona, an astrologist. Oh, well, it's nice to meet you too. Mona is amazing. She can find out everything about you by divination. A princess, an astrologist, and an articulate raven retainer. In the company of giants, my humble self hardly deserves mention. I am Kaidahara Kazuha from Inazuma. It is an honor to meet you all. What ho, Kazuha? Divulge thy epithets and thy vocation. Oh, main Fräulein would like to know where you work and what your field of expertise is. Um, I'm afraid I'm just another wanderer. <laughs> this guy is an expert in the sword arts. He parries blades that none have ever parried before, and strikes like lightning. Mere mortals could not hope to comprehend. The sword what? Is he really that Ah, oh, the story quest, I guess. This is really that powerful. Let me take a look. Huh? Oh. Oh my. <laughs> Delighted to meet a great sword master like you. Could we ask you to be our guard while we're on the island? One hereby declares you captain of the royal guard of the Imanakreish. For even Lady Magistus to praise your skills, you are surely one of rare talent. Lady Magistus. Okay, Lady Mitch. Lady Magic. Magic. Oh, just call me Mona. <laughs> Calling me that weird name. <laughs> By the way, Lady Magistus, we found out that it's the promised land. A legendary great mage gave us a big hint. Come on, everyone, follow Paimon. You turn right, huh? Eh? Go to the location, yet. Yeah? So, um, we're not turning right here yet. We're turning right after the bridge. Oh, uh, I kind of want to. <laughs> Think you can get away? Brace yourself. Okay. <laughs> and uh yeah, let's just go right. Oh. Oh! Isn't that... Look everyone! Here's our vehicle! That's a vehicle? Hmm. <laughs> Some 
somehow, I suddenly don't feel like going anymore. What a, uh, unique little thing. Looks kind of like Guoba, doesn't it? <laughs> Guoba, really? Look at her face. I love her. Guoba. Is he the magical creature at One Min Restaurant? Now that you mention it, it does look quite similar. Uh, to be honest, even Paimon isn't so sure this can take us to the island after all. Hmm. I see, I see. Only by meeting the lowliest of ends can we arrive at the Emanachreich born anew. Ho <laughs> ho, behold, the doorway cloven by thundering retribution. By such means as I once descended into this realm to bring retribution, do I now venture into the next. Come, Oz, lead the way. I will enter first. Main Fräulein need not worry. He's in. And now he's gone! Eh? Why, this truly is the path of retribution that leads to the Promised Land. Uh, maybe I should just do a quick reading for safety. Lady Bajistus, it's fine! <laughs> this is Alice's creation. It's totally safe. Spare yourself the trouble. Just come with us. How do you go in? All right, I That's the completely question. forgot. <laughs> is there like a door or something? All right. Oh, you mean in the mouth. Just enter there. Okay, everyone exchange glances one by one. Exit into the Dodo Fortress. That's a Dodo Fortress. The journey is an event for It's so dark in okay. here. Um, can someone turn on the light? Ooh. Hey, quit pushing. Come on now. Let's all try and stick. Ow! Bishop, you're treading on my hair. I thought it was a snake. Ah, we're flying. Everyone, be careful. Okay. Over here already. Oh, we finally landed. What was that all about? Ooh. What a beautiful place. The wind is soft and the ocean is calm. And a pleasant scent blows on the breeze. This is the islands. And that's the device, yep. The uh, Alice left. Yep! Paimon's feeling way better already now that we can see the ocean. <gasps> An ocean of life, and a land filled with flora. Main Fräulein, we have finally arrived at the promised land, whence we shall revive the Imanakreish. Oh, faithful retainers, this is the blessed paradise that one has been searching for. Here is where we shall witness the culmination of all things. I, who command the darkness, shall lead you to yonder gate of dreams. <laughs> <clears throat> shall lead you to yonder gate of dreams. Uh, it's not working. Mona? Your Archmage Magistus <laughs> thanks you for your kindness, your highness. In this moment, I offer my blessings to the Emmernach Reich. Mona, what are you, uh... Oh, don't ask, just follow my lead. Okay. Oh, oh, right. <clears throat> Praise be to the Princessin, who has led us here to this sacred place. My sincere gratitude to you for inviting me to join you on this trip, Your Highness. <laughs> Your happiness gladdens one's heart. <sighs> How it delights me to bring us all together here at this most monumentally fateful of moments. Now, as I take my first step on this pilgrimage, I shall perceive this ocean of life with my own earthly vessel. After all, this is where my soul belongs. On the contrary, Lady Magistus, blessed as you are with the great power of Hydro, one yet finds too many impurities in thy soul. Mm -mm -mm. Main Fräulein means Lady Magistus is perhaps not the most talented swimmer. 
Hmm? Oh, official? That's enough. I'm happy enough to join in with the play acting without complaining, but how dare you ridicule my genius? I don't want to get this. Travel as I want to. <laughs> I'll bring you to your knees, young lady. Oh, my main Fräulein. Steal yourself, main Fräulein. Oh, yeah. Swimming race, swimming race. Whoever comes at last is right next. Oh. <laughs> Hello, man. Challenge accepted. Hate my words, lowly Lady Magistus. You shall pay for your foolishness for as long as you live. Ridiculous. I've never lost a single swimming race in my life. Bring it on. First one to run to the beach wins. <laughs> <laughs> Are they really? serious running? I thought they were gonna swim. Well, Mona's just gonna. <laughs> Is that enjoying this? I take it you have no present plans. I want to start by surveying <laughs> the area first. Want to come along? Yeah, let's go. I want to explore this island. Are you coming? Seems like everyone's got things to do. I'll stay here and hold down the fort for now. Mona and Fish will have gone swimming and someone's got to set up camp. Don't worry, I got this. this even You're going to take a look around, here. right? Well, make sure you let me know if there are any good views. Thanks, will do. Alright. Go to the island that Kazuha mentioned. Oh boy. There's only two islands. Oh. Oh, okay, there are more. Okay. I have to go here. Ah, uh, okay. Dodoko? Dodoko, where? Oh man. So we're actually here. <laughs> the golden apple. And there's a waypoint there. Alright, um. I wanna explore, but. I just wanna unlock. La, la, la. So. <laughs> yeah, I need a boat. I need a boat. Let's just the music. <laughs> I never really send out the music that time when I come here first time. Ooh, yeah, this thing. Sadly, cannot sit. Okay, we find the way from. So let's see. I have to uh, go to the island, right? Yeah. Okay. Resonating visions. Ah, oh, this is the event, eh? So I need to collect conscious. Such a song. Okay, cannot. Also cannot. Okay. So let's just go to the island first. I'll explore uh, around maybe on stream. <laughs> right now I'm just focusing on the story. There's even challenges. Which I will do later, not uh, not right now. Oh boy. I'm pretty sure there's a waypoint here, but... Should I even go there now? Oh no, the waypoint is put up. Oops. There's a conch. There's a conch Right there. There's two of them. Hold on, I, I wanna... I just wanna see what it does. 
Sakar, don't push yourself. I see my voices. Look, uh, there's a cave over there. Let's go and rest for a while. Secret mission lock three added. Oh. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And this one. Yeah, I'm fine. It's just a little stomach ache. All right. Well, I found four apples. You can have them when you're feeling a little better. But the mission. Don't worry about that, Sakar. I'll take care of it. You just head up there and get a good rest. Ooh, Sakar. Sounds like a Sumeru name. Oh, waypoint. It's over here. I can still Ah so the waypoint opens the map. Okay. This this is probably a puzzle here. There's rocks five oh. Do I have to step? Maybe there's a pattern for it. I, I, I'll, <laughs> I'll think about that later. Let's just go to the island. Time to go. Uh, so far, there's no enemies. So I think it should be fine if I play as. It is as the stars foretold. I'm taking the stage. The threads of your fate lie in my hand. Let's just try. <laughs> I summon thee. Might as well, right? <laughs> so far, there's no enemies. If there is, I have Kazuha and Mona. Should be fine. Ah, oh. damn it. So this is the island and this place looks familiar. I remember being here before in <laughs> Risa's world, I think. And uh, I see a waypoint, okay. Alright. I'll just I should use this dispenser. Okay. What is hey, this place? What's that huge weird thing over there? It's like a machine. It appears to be some sort of machine. And an army cap with traces of hydro next to it. Jesus of it Hydro. seems that we are not the first to set foot on this island. Also, there are footprints here. Fresh ones. Likely no more than a few days ago. So someone old. is here, I wonder really? who. Really? Hyman didn't notice them at all. Visitors here like us. 
There's other people here? Don't tell me you're gonna fight oh, them. Now. I'm using Come on, <laughs> I'm using level down. 50 characters. Oh boy. Maybe Sinyan and Fisher might not be a good idea. If it's just exploring, it's fine, but just to be safe. Sure. And also I await your instruction. Bring one DPS in, okay. Use element to set for the traces. Hmm? Nice. Close. Watch out. Did you see? <laughs> Are we supposed to go up? No, it's going down. Huh? Where? The music man. Oh, the Tui. Okay. Level seventy five. That's not so bad. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. That's true. Mint and sweet flowers are everywhere. <laughs> well, uh, Fatui. There is Enconomia. There's no Fatui there. <laughs> they get everywhere like me. Interesting observation. <laughs> oh. Cappy Cap's gone. Where's Cappy Cap? Cappy Cap? Are you looking for something? A cap! I can't, I can't lose it! I don't know anything! Give me back Cappy Cap! Okay. Is this the cap you're looking for? My brother's Cappy Cap! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Alright. Doesn't seem like a bad for two then. This guy is not the sharpest sword in the sheath. Don't bully me or I'll punch you in the... Monster! Monster! Stop right there! What are you doing here? Oh, who's this? Another Fatus! We can ask Fatus. you the same question! What are you doing here? Hmm? Protect Cappy Cap or brother will get mad at me! Forget the Cap! It's your brother we're looking for! <laughs> oh, they're looking for the brother. Persicom. What happened to him? Nothing! He has a fever. He's just a little delirious. That's all. For two we researcher. Okay. I don't have to tell you anything. Go bother someone else. Hmm. This island belongs to our friend. You better watch what you say, mister. What? I thought this island was uninhabited. That's why we came here to... Oh? Um, never mind. What's that machine for? Fine. I'll tell you, but then you need to leave me alone. It's a new kind of energy generator that I invented. We were simply looking for a deserted island to test it out on. There. Satisfied? Uh, well, it's not a deserted island. Do not impede our vacationing. Yeah! And if you don't do as you're told, we'll... Uh... Oh! We'll take his cat! <laughs> <laughs> Please don't! <laughs> uh, anyway, what's this hey, thing stop about... crying! Stay within this area, okay? Uh, by the way, um, 
Why is there smoke coming out of your machine? <sighs> because the cursed thing is broken. As much as I hate to say it, our tests did not go to plan. We were getting ready to leave anyway. Oh, well, just see yourselves out whenever you're ready. Bye. Yeah, bye bye. Come on, <laughs> let's go. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Paimon can't believe we have to deal with the Fatui during our vacation. Why would the Fatui appear in such an isolated corner of the world? Whatever their reasons, it's likely more complicated than we might think. Even though we're on vacation, we should stay vigilant. Right. Also, in the interests of keeping the ladies in good spirits, I have a suggestion. Let's keep this between us for now. Let them enjoy their vacation while the traveler and I deal with any potential threats. What do you think? All right. Makes sense. You're so considerate, Kazuha. Paimon, you flatter me. I simply don't think it's worth ruining anyone's vacation over a trivial matter like this. The scenery is beautiful. I hope all of us can enjoy ourselves here. All right. Return to camp. Do we have a teleport yet? Did I just see nothing? Oh, I'll come back here anyway. Yes, we have a waypoint. So yeah, this is the starting island. Eh? All right. So, what happened? Just in time. So, Traveler, Paimon, who do you think the real swimming champion is? Me or Fischl? Surely, Mona. Can't, can't be a tie or something. <laughs> Utter my supreme name and see how Lady Magistus, the presumptuous, is reduced to bitter tears. I'll go with whatever Paimon says is the winner. <laughs> Wise Paimon, surely you can discern who the true winner is. Hmm. Lady Paimon, the time to show your loyalty is nigh. Well? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Shouldn't Paimon get some food in her first? Poor thing looks starving after such a long trek out. Ooh, thank you, Xinyan. Yes, we did walk quite a long way. Right? While you were off doing your own things, I caught us some seafood and picked berries. us a few fruits. They taste real good barbecued. Now that you mention it, I'm getting a little peckish myself. <sighs> I too. Well, there's plenty to go around, so dig in. I can't say I've got the culinary skills of my chef friend, but I promise you'll at least eat your fill. Mmm, time to eat. Inviting Lady Shinyan here was an astute decision indeed. Paimon's done talking. <laughs> All right. So oh, I love that barbecue smell. Mm. This tastes amazing. Mm. Impressive. Since Shinyan made dinner for us, allow me to take charge of breakfast tomorrow. I want too. Oh, oh, traveler, mm. you forgot about something. Uh. Let's talk over there. Forgot what? Contact Venti. Oh, we can contact. Right, right, right. Are we gonna tell Venti about this for two we around this area or something? That old thing with the Fatui is bothering you too, yeah. right? Well, remember the bomb thing that Venti gave us? Thing. We can contact him using that. Wait, no, not a bomb. <laughs> Fenty said it's Dodo called a Dodo communication device. Yeah, let's ask Fenty if he knows anything. He always seems clued in on everything, so if there's any intel floating around, he'll definitely know about it. Dodo, Dodo, Dodo. <laughs> Who can contact me on this thing? How come you're sneezing? 
I'm at the cat's tail. <laughs> Makes so sense. Many cats. They, they gave me some allergy medicine, but it's not working. <laughs> okay, go on then. What are you calling about? Could you be any lazier? Come on, Paimon. You just go on. Tell it. <laughs> Island. <laughs> uh, the Cryo Archon's minions are a capable crew. Cryo I'd be Archons. more surprised if they hadn't shown up yet. But they're ruining our vacation! Really? But, uh, <clears throat> you sound fine. They can't have caused you too much trouble, surely. Or, uh, if, if they did, I'm sure you have everything under control by now. Yeah, but something just doesn't feel right. That's why we came to you. Don't you have any information for us? I haven't heard anything new about the Fatui. But don't worry. I may be a lowly tone deaf bard, but you may contact me whenever you need me. I mean, uh -huh. I can't promise I'll be of much help, but at least you'll have someone to talk to, right? Sometimes just talking things through is enough to calm a worried mind. Ugh, honestly. <laughs> Adventuring is what you do best. It's only natural to encounter a few surprises when you head somewhere new, but just remember, not all unexpected encounters are dangerous. Okay. The same wind graces the seaside as that which wafts over pastures green. Whenever you see clouds, it was the wind that carried them there. Don't worry, my friends. The wind will always be with you. Okay, then. <clears throat> I have to go now. My performance in the cat's tail is starting any second. <laughs> okay, bye. So, he means we don't need to worry too much about the yeah. Fatui, right? Do we don't have to worry about them? Well, <laughs> if that's what the tone deaf bard says, then okay. fingers crossed we'll have a peaceful and relaxing vacation where nothing weird happens at all. When you go off on a long trip with your friends, the important thing is to have fun. Alright then. <laughs> Okay, so that's only part one, eh? So... Part two. How many parts are there? I wonder. Event details. Summertime, Odyssey. Uh... Surf piece. Yes, okay. Challenges, I guess. The challenges that like I saw just now. Misty Hills. Is this a furnishing or? Okay. This one, I need to complete something else first. This one is unlocking tomorrow, and this one is the day after. Got another crown here. Talents and more. Okay. You need two thousand four hundred to gain a free official. That's not the skin, right? That's just the, that's just official. Yeah, the skin is here. Okay, so that's part 3 and 4. Alright, I think... Uh, I think that's it for this... Uh, part 1 of... Uh, Summertime Odyssey part one i don't know how many parts are there but i'll do part two next video okay so <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video see you guys next time